30 seconds of silence was almost unbearable. Some of you may be wondering, when do we get to the discipline of prayer? This is it. Listening. 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 Love the old um, story of Mother Teresa. You probably heard it. One day, a reporter was interviewing Mother Teresa. said, Mother Teresa, I see you pray a lot. And she said, all the time. Never stop. And he said, well, what do you say when you pray to God? And she said, I don't say anything. I listen. Oh, God speaks to you. Absolutely, she said. Well, when he speaks to you, what does he say? And Mother Teresa said, he doesn't say anything. He listens. That's how that works. Hmm. Most of the time when we fail to communicate, it's because we're not listening. So this week, I would encourage you to make an appointment with God to do absolutely nothing. Start with a couple of minutes, because it will be hard. Just set. Try not to let your mind wander like it does. Shema. Hear, listen, obey. God, I want to hear. I want to listen. I want to obey. I want to hear. I want to listen. I want to obey. As I told these young people on the top of Mount Sakat last year, it applies to you. Do you know when God created you? He created you to be a disciple. We are made in the image of God. We, we are created in such a way that we are to be the image of God in the heavens. We are his image. He made you to be a disciple when he created you. Now sin gets in the way and we get lost and we wander and all of those things. Christ pays the price to redeem us, bring us back into the family, to continue the journey with God. And so whatever your journey is, maybe you're a teacher, maybe you're a power line worker, maybe, maybe you're a truck driver, maybe, maybe you're retired, maybe, maybe you're a doctor. I don't know what you do, but God created you to be a disciple in that. He made you per perfectly to be who you are, to reflect his image, to be a shalom bringer to the chaos around us. 